clubs actually made it quite easy. Um, it's only for, say, the first three, four weeks of the season, and um, I've been doing it for the last couple of seasons now, so it's not too difficult. I'd say it's more turned into routine now. It's kind of, I don't, I don't know any better. Say, so definitely, no disrespect to Otago, I'm more, so, more talking about loyalty. I, um, I prefer to stick with one team. I've played for one winter club my whole time in Auckland, one in Dunedin, and one summer club. So I think that's what it's more about. Career-wise, I wouldn't say it's, it hasn't got me anywhere from there, but um, in terms of being on the radar for all of New Zealand football and kind of just, I don't know, making a name for yourself early on is pretty helpful. I just in a place at Waitakere and actually get on the pitch and perform there and then just kind of, as I said, routine again, get back into it and hope. I think that they've both got their pros and cons, really. Um, I've never... Growing up, I haven't played a lot um, at fullback, and so I'm, I've kind of begun to learn that position and realise that there's a, a few parts of that game that I quite enjoy. But I think that uh, my heart and soul is in the centre of the defence. I wouldn't say I don't fancy myself, because um, I, I definitely enjoy doing it, but I, I just, I don't know, I can, I can see myself in either, really. Oh, coaching's been brilliant. Yeah, from when I began about five years ago, whatever, with Millie, and now Embers, it's two different styles, but it's been been really good. Yeah. yeah, it definitely has helped my game through their coaching, but also from um, when I was playing with Neil and Bass as well. It's kind of like eventuated from that and kind of moved on to moved on from there. Really. Highlight of my career. Um, that's really hard to say. Um, I'd say going to the Under 17 World Cup, but we, the results didn't go our way. Um, but I'd say a couple of victories along the way. And, um, and warm up tournaments such as you know, in South America against Peru. And um, yeah. well, I think that New Zealand football is definitely changing as uh, football around the world's changing and getting better. And I think New Zealand football is starting to realise that we need a, the, the type of game that we need to play to compete. And so I realise that I need to kind of start playing more on the ball and being more comfortable to get on. I've definitely been tempted. Uh, there's as I said earlier, there's pro, pros and cons to that sort of thing. Like pros, some people have got professional contracts, we've got on the radar overseas and in New Zealand. Others have gone off the radar a little bit in New Zealand, but are doing well for themselves overseas. So it's really hard to say unless you you just take a leap and go for it.